Hi, so my name's Shayi and I'm going to be doing some videos and sharing my journey of self-love and falling in love with myself. This is because I think I'm a little bit interesting and I've done a few things over the last six or seven years that are um, have completely changed my life and changed and not I say I wanted to say um changed who I am but it's actually removing the things about me that made me not be who I am if that makes sense and if it resonates with you then you know what I'm talking about um so I just want to thank you for watching this video and um, I've been kind of putting off doing videos because I wanted them to be perfect and I wanted to make them look professional and then I've been watching some people on YouTube and they're just like walking with their phone and I've still watched them and I love them or they make mistakes or their room that they're doing the video in is a mess or you know they look a bit rough or whatever and I'm just like well if they can do it then I can do it I've got a little bit of something to talk about and it might resonate with someone so um yeah that's why I'm doing these videos and I hope you subscribe maybe and then you'll know when I do a new video I'm going to aim to do a couple every week I'm going to do a few today so if you see me wearing all the same clothes with the same makeup and hair and background and everything that's because I've done them all today and um, yeah so I hope you enjoy I'm just going to read a quote from it's a person called Hunter S Thompson and I love this quote I first heard it when I did a foundation course of a form of energy healing that I did many years ago and it was in some of the uh, materials that they gave us and it just resonated deeply with me that I had been kind of living my life in this addiction high of trying to make things interesting and exciting and although you know I had some good times it wasn't real and it wasn't authentic and so once I got into recovery I um, have been starting to find ways of making my life fun and interesting and exciting without any form of external supplements or you know no drugs no alcohol no caffeine just keep living my life as clean as possible eating what I enjoy I'm vegetarian I'm six years sober on boxing day I um I don't take caffeine I don't take alcohol and um you know, I have sugar and that's something that I'm cutting down from my diet. I have dairy, but I'm cutting out, cut out milk and eggs recently. Um, and potentially with a view of being vegan, but I don't really enjoy being vegan. I find it hard eating out and I love eating out and dining with friends and stuff. And I just want to live like for me, my reason why I got into recovery was because I wanted to live a normal like live a wonderful life but as normal as possible and when I'm vegan I'm just thinking about food too much and it's just too much it goes into my obsessive compul com you know compulsive tendencies and I don't enjoy it like I like chocolate and I don't like soya I don't like fake things I want to eat as real as possible and fuck it like cheese is real butter is real like I've cut butter out now I have vit vitalite instead um but you know so yeah I was gonna try and keep this to under five minutes but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen um which is cool so I'm gonna read this quote and finish this introduction video thanks again for watching if you like it like it subscribe check me out um and yeah we'll see where we where we go from here basically like I, I try not to do things too planned you know like I have an outline um of what I would like to do and then I just kind of don't normally do that so like I run workshops and things and that's how it goes in them as well so um yes yeah, so the quote is life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely 
in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, Wow! What a ride! What a ride! So that's what I am trying to create in my life. So I run events, I run what I call heart and soul led events. Um, leaning slightly towards dating but not too much so couples can come and anyone can come um, non-gender specific so they're not um, the usual kind of dating things where you have to be a boy who likes girls like anyone can come and what else do I do I run sexual health and relationship workshops in schools for the NHS and for the Terence Higgins Trust and I um, do something really, really awesome called intuitive shopping, mostly with women at the moment. Um, and I'm currently updating my website, so there will be more information about my intuitive shopping sessions on my website when I finish that. Um, yeah, and I just, yeah, hopefully you'll come back and uh, you'll watch more of my videos and I'll share more of things that I'm into. I'm um, working with my with a timeline therapist coach at the moment, which is really awesome, and working on releasing old romantic relationship patterns that mean that I stay in a relationship that's not what I want, and like not even nearly what I want. And I recently came out of a relationship with someone I was with for a year, over a year. And it was just like the opposite of what I wanted. And yet I stayed with him. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it was amazing learning for me. Like I've learned so much about myself. Um, so I'm going to be kind of sharing little bits about that journey and about my, um, you know, kind of like, when I do start dating again, I'm taking a few months out to to really reground myself and reconnect with myself and um, fall back in love a bit more with myself again. Um, yeah, so I'll share about my journeys and about my adventures and hopefully I will, um, yeah, say something that might resonate, that might help. I do a lot of meditation, I dance, I'm going to start singing lessons in the new year. I um, have a really beautiful spiritual practice and relationship with God, although I'm not religious. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on a lot of things and it's going to, 2016 is going to be awesome. So welcome and I hope to see you. Namaste.